Today on Running to Him. God will allow us to be defeated through judgment if we sin against him. Today we will read Joshua chapters 6 through 10 and concentrate on chapter 6, verse 17 through 19, and chapter 7, verse 20 through 21. Joshua 6, 17 through 19 says, The city shall be under the ban, and all that is in it belongs to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot and all who are with her in the house shall live, because she hid the messengers whom we sent. But as for you, only keep yourselves from the things under the ban, so that you do not covet them, and take some of the things under the ban, and make the camp of Israel accursed, and bring trouble on it. But all the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron are holy to the Lord, and they shall go into the treasury of the Lord. And verse 20, so Achan answered Joshua and said, Truly I have sinned against the Lord and God of Israel, and this is what I did. When I saw among the spoil a beautiful mantle from Shinar, and two hundred shekels of silver and a bar of gold, fifty shekels in weight, then I coveted them, and I took them, and behold, they are concealed in the earth beneath my tent with the silver underneath it. Now the story of the first battle of Ai should cause us to tremble because of what happened at the Battle of Jericho. We may be signing our death warrant if we willfully go against one of God's commands. In the Battle of Jericho, God was very clear to Joshua and the Israelites that any item of value, such as silver and gold, was to be placed into the treasury. God judged Jericho for their sin, and the riches they had belonged to him. Achan decided to succumb to the temptation and take some articles which were under the ban. That action cost the Israelites 36 men in the battle for Ai. Salvi in the Presbytery of Marseille, 400 to 480 AD, writes, When we know God's will and we deliberately go against it, we are placing ourselves at risk for some judgment. You say these were disgraceful acts of a few men, and what was not done by all could not injure all. Indeed, I have said above quite often that the crime of one man was the destruction of many among the people of God. Just as the people were ruined by Achan's theft, just as pestilence arose from Saul's jealousy, just as death came from the counting of the people by the holy David, the church of God is as the eye, as a speck of dirt, even though small which falls into the eye, blinds the sight completely in the same way if some even though they are few in the body of the church, commit filthy acts, they block almost all of the light of the splendor of the church. That's from the governance of God, chapter 7, verse 19. We do not live alone. The things we do may result in damage to others. Therefore, we must be careful to live our lives as repentance. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.